Hey there, uh, since I've been a little too lazy to get my GoPro out, this video is going to be uh, all pictures. But uh, so those of you who don't want to watch that, you might as well turn off. And uh, if you decide to keep watching, I think you'll find some some interesting things here. So this is going to be about uh, putting Mega Squirt on my Ford CVH engine which is in my Formula Basic car. And um, this is a carburetor engine originally and uh, I have never been very satisfied with that. It's uh, been the cause of, of many problems. So uh, the first thing I needed to do when I uh, decided to put Megasquirt on it uh, was to build myself a new manifold. And that's what this video is gonna be about. So this old carburetor is gonna go and uh, luckily I got three engines with my car when I bought it and here's one of them and this is a mechanical uh, injected engine. So I could use this uh, or parts of the, this uh, intake to make my, uh, my new intake. So I'm gonna be using uh, the flange and the throttle body Here's a view of the throttle body and uh, I have cut off the flange um, to be able to weld that on my new uh, intake. So I was at the, um, the scrapyard and I bought myself a uh, fuel rail from a Ford SeaTech engine and I bought some uh, some injectors from a uh, Saab uh, 9.5 I think it was because uh, the the plan uh, in the future is to put a turbocharger on this one so I needed injectors that were up to that task and then I put my lathe to work uh, I uh, made some some injector bungs uh, to be welded in my new intake and then I just drill a hole uh, through the intake put the injector bungs in and uh, sort of made a, a mock-up with the with the uh, the fuel rail and the injectors and everything and one thing I got I forgot to mention is that uh, the intake I'm I mean, this, this engine uh, exists with a electronic fueling injection uh, and a, a ready intake for that. The problem I have in this uh, Formula car is that I have a very limited space. So I needed to do something else. So I, uh, the intake I'm building this off is um, the intake for, uh, for the carburetor. So I need to, that's why I need to weld everything in place on it to fit the throttle body and the injector bungs. So there you see the holes I've drilled and uh, then I had to uh, take out the material uh, needed for, uh, for the bigger hole for the, the, uh, the throttle body. So then I put my uh, very good friend Magnus to work and and what's great about having a best friend is that you have a best friend and uh, if that best friend also happens to have a TIG welder then you are really lucky and I know I am. So uh, he welded all this up for me in a couple of hours and I am so grateful. Uh, this job would have been much more expensive if I had to uh, had to leave this to uh, someone who uh, charged me for it. So uh, thanks Magnus. So here's the uh, finished intake. Just put the fuel rail on and uh, the injectors and everything and the throttle body and uh, yeah, that's, that's that part done. So uh, everything I got to do now is uh, is to uh, to make everything else. Uh, I've never worked with 
Megasquirt before. I have never converted an engine with Megasquirt, so uh, this is the first one for me, and I am looking forward to learning a lot about it. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed, and uh, I have enjoyed making this video and making this uh, intake, and uh, more to come soon. So thanks. Bye.